To determine clinical attachment loss, we are looking from the CEJ to the epithelial attachment. If the gingival margin is at the CEJ, then the clinical attachment loss is equal to the probing depth. In the case of recession, we're still looking from the CEJ to the epithelial attachment, but we have to add. So we're going to take, in this picture, you can see in this 36912 calibrated probe, that the probe depth that's going to be recorded is 3 millimeters. The recession that's going to be recorded is also 3 millimeters. So the clinical attachment loss of this tooth would be your 3 plus 3. So 6 millimeters of attachment loss. In the case of inflammation, we're still wanting to measure just from the CEJ to the epithelial attachment. So we're going to take the probe depth and then you're going to have to gently take your probe and feel down to the CEJ and then subtract that number from the probe depth. So let's look at these three pictures again. The C, uh, CAL, clinical attachment loss in this image, is going to be 6 millimeters because we have a 9 millimeter pocket, 3 millimeters of inflammation, and so your clinical attachment level is 6. In the case of the recession, you have a three millimeter probe depth, three millimeters of recession, and so your clinical attachment level is six millimeters. In the case where the gingival margin is at the CEJ, then your probe depth is equal to the clinical attachment level. So in this case, it's also gonna be six millimeters.